फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट ऑन दी ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ में द प्राइम मिनिस्टर मूवड द रेजोल्यूशन इन दिस हाउस आस्किंग द हाउस to record its general approval of the principles objectives and programs of development contained in the second 5 year plan as prepared by the planning commission this was discussed for another day and then the consideration of this resolution was adjourned at that stage the scope of the discussion was confined to broad aspects of the plan approach organization resources etc arrangements were made then so that there could be close and intimate discussion of the plan by groups of members of parliament of both houses four committees were appointed they have completed their work i take this opportunity of expressing my deep appreciation of the work of these committees the members took very keen interest in the principles as well as the details and made numerous valuable and useful suggestions i shall endeavor at this stage to deal with the ground that has been covered and initiate the further stage of discussion it is gratifying that the direction of advance at the main goals that have been accepted in the plan are also accepted in this house on the basis of agreement this agreement is also true of the people of the country as a whole sir i regard it as a very precious asset of the plan it will be a source of great strength for all those who in different capacities in the country are going to work out this plan implement its various programs this has its particular significance in a democracy if there is no broad agreement regarding objectives our energies would be frittered away since there is that agreement regarding objectives we have i believe made a big step towards the successful implementation of the plan questions and doubts arose in the course of the discussion and I, i shall try to elucidate the points which were raised there was consensus of opinion that the plan was not too big in size considering the present needs of the nation however the capacity of the country to raise resources to an adequate extent was questioned and concern was expressed regarding the gap in respect of our foreign exchange resources vis a vis our requirements of the plan in the same context there was a lengthy discussion about the trained personnel for the successful execution of the plan there was a certain amount of discussion regarding priorities and a special point was made that while we are according a higher priority to industry in the second 5 year plan the provision is not adequate especially in respect of heavy industries further it was stated that the provision for transport is out of step with the requirements of traffic which will be generated in the course of the implementation of the plan i found there was a very great intensity of feeling in the house regarding unequal development in different areas and a feeling was expressed that adequate measures were not being taken to redress this imbalance the position according to some members was the same in respect of the question of rural areas vis a vis urban areas before i take up these questions i would if you would permit me sir like to say something about the first 5 year plan and incidentally about our approach to the entire problem of economic development this question of first 5 year plan figured fairly prominently in the discussion in the house 
members offered their own assessment of the achievements of the plan and of the failures no claim is made that those achievements were very spectacular in fact as one honorable member pointed out the report itself does not make any exaggerated claims in fact no magic formula is available for quickening the economic development in a country particularly in an underdeveloped country the difficulties as pointed out are more in the case of a country which is just trying to emerge from the stage of underdevelopment and particularly so when this experiment of quickening the tempo of development is being carried out in the context of a democracy for the same reason we should be prepared to pay the price that has to be paid for this that price may be somewhat heavy in the beginning and that price is in terms of hard work for all of us in terms of concerted effort it is in terms of discipline of self restraint of sacrifice let us be clear about that because after all what is the prospect before us we are trying to acquire a new status we are trying to lift ourselves to a new plane of existence in terms of economic life we want to qualify for being placed in the category of a developed country to give up our status as an underdeveloped country and for that certainly the greatest effort has to be applied to this big task and this effort is not necessarily confined to the economic sphere of india store